Oke. Okay. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. <tuh> Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. First of all, I would like to to thankful to say thankful to my Almighty God, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, that had given me this opportunity, this change to meet you guys in another video, especially this video. And secondly, salawat and salam given to our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, peace be upon him. And to his family, to his friends, to his people, and others, and uh, and uh, and his follower. Okay, uh, and also that has uh, guided us from the Jahiliya era to the Islamic era, from the dark path to the light path. Okay, so uh, hello, uh, hello everyone, hello, hello fellas. Uh, how, how are you guys doing today? I hope you all have a wonderful, a peaceful, a good day, and inshallah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always guide us from the bad things. Amin ya Rabbal Alamin. <coughs> so in this video, in this particular time, I would like to uh, make my last uh, or uh, not make, I mean, uh, I will inform you, I will tell you my last or my final project in my school, which is Eden Boarding School. And this is my final final English project for the for this semester, this for semester of my 11th grade uh, you might uh, oh, oh yeah you might don't know about what is EDN so EDN it's a vocational school and EDN stands for Islamic Development Network it's based on IT knowledge if you guys interested I'll give you the link for the school website if you want to check it out. So, yeah. This is gonna be my last project, my last video in this first semester of my 11th grade. And the topic that I will brought to you guys is about my goals. <coughs> and by the way, this final project video will be around one hour long so i hope you guys enjoyed it and yeah let's just get right on to the topic so about my goals actually there's a lot of things that i have in my mind if i talk about goals but firstly you need to know what is hobby, what is dream, and what is ghost. You might wonder is it's different, man. So, but the fact that for uh, for my, for me it's kind of different because uh, yeah, I will explain it to you after this. So you need to know that goal is different than hobby and dream. Okay, so in my opinion, hobby goes to the lowest tier or maybe the lowest level or anything you want to call. Then there goes dream, which is belong to the medium or middle level or in the middle level. And then we have a goal. Goal is belong like to the very top very first which mean that goal is like your final destination hobby is like something that you love to do and dream is like your target but 
not like your not like your final target such as like finish uh such as like uh finishing your homework this weekend or maybe anything that goes re uh, recently and that is dream or anything you want to call okay so after i explain the difference between those three i would like to tell you guys about myself so many of you maybe a lot of you don't know about me so i will introduce myself so hello guys my name is Muhammad Rifki Sharifuddin you can call me Rifki I live in Chipayu is Jakarta I was born in Jakarta right now I'm on 11th grade in EDN boarding school as a software engineer major and right now I'm 16 years old I only have my little sister her name is Alia and yeah, I mean I do also have my family my father and my mom and yeah uh, and then my hobbies are playing chess and sometimes I also like to play games such as like Roblox or also if you know about it and other stuff that is uh, quite fun for me and besides that I all uh, I also like to go outside like going to the mall with my family or uh, having a dinner in in the mall in the restaurant or other places that's are my hobbies <clears throat> and then I will tell you guys of, about my target oh sorry this presentation should must should must be my go so let me fix sorry guys about the issues so this must be my target okay all right Yes, present it. Okay, about my target. So, uh, my target this reason. Uh, I mean, uh, if ta if if I talk about my target, there is uh, a lot of things, a lot of uh, plan that I uh, that I have in my mind. But uh, I will give you guys some of some of them and yeah so my target uh, this recently is first uh, finish my English final project which is now this will be my final English project and I hope it it will went well and complete all of the school certificate graduation uh, or you can say SKL in Indonesia and being in apple academy which is one of my big target and then uh, have a good pkl place or like work uh, like working but uh, you don't uh, but uh, like internship i mean i have uh, have a good internship place and then oh yeah uh internship place and especially in app development and then uh, i will improve my it knowledge improve my uh, public speaking improve my english skill and the b and be a better person every day and yeah that was my target for this recently uh, maybe uh, there's still a lot of things uh, I can talk to you guys but for now I just know that that some of that so yeah uh, oh yeah I'll give you a tip uh, it's also uh, my fault though <laughs> so the good way to not forget your uh, about your target is make some notes or if you're lazy you can make it on 
um, make it with uh, your laptop on uh, on or maybe in your computer uh, there's uh, applications called sticky notes if you search it or maybe you have to download it yeah, it says sticky notes and it's very helpful in terms of remembering your target or maybe other things that you might easily forgot about it and yeah that's my tip which is uh, I also embarrassed because I also don't <laughs> use it uh, often and then uh, the last thing that I will talk in this video which is the most important the, the main topic which is my goals so <coughs> this thing uh, needs to be more important or more valuable than target and hobby because this will this will be your final destination and just what I said before so uh, I will try my best to tell you my final destination and I'm so sorry if there's anything wrong with my decision or my uh, goals and yeah let's start so the first goal that I want to achieve is of course as a muslim we all want to be in surga right in allah's surga allah heaven that is my first goal and then my the, my, my second goal is making proud of my uh, parent uh, making proud of my family why because uh, because uh, they always help me whenever I get in trouble uh, they support my education process until this point and if I don't have a parent then what I what would I be now I don't know so always be good always be nice always be polite to your parents that is one of the key to be successful don't ever try to be rude to your parents always obey your parents if it's annoying or not as long as as uh, as long if it's a good things then do it patiently and calmly inshallah uh, with your good attitude to your parents you will be successful i mean inshallah so this attitude it's not just for parents also for other people like your teacher uh, having a good attitude to your teacher is also one of the key to be successful don't ever underestimate your teacher if they are grumpy or anything or uh, you're not you don't like the teacher just be patient and be polite to your teacher if you got that type of teacher just be patient Hey, fun fact, I also had got the same situation where my teacher is, uh, maybe I would say, not that fit for me. And my response is just be patient and inshallah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will help you. Life is not always what we want to be. Sometimes we must face the uncomfortable situation and yeah that is life sometimes with when good sometimes bad yeah it's not that easy man and you also need to keep in mind that there's uh, a reason between every things that we face in life there must be a reason so yeah just be patient just be calm and inshallah you will be uh, you will be good you'll be fine about it okay so we move on to my third goal which is become an expert in programming but first I want to tell you about how I want to be a programmer so it started uh, around uh, 9 or uh, 8 grade 
So I started to watch. Uh, I start. I started to watch a tutorial about how to make games in my one of my favorite game, which is Roblox. So I started searching for it, and when I found one, when I found one tutorial, and I think it's uh, for me. I think it's quite kind of simple, and the topic is about making a simple game for beginners, and I started to watch it. Uh, a bit and then uh wait wait uh sorry okay i started to watch it a bit and and i felt interested in it and continue i i continue to watch it and i started to think that I say that I think I will try to be a programmer. That's what I said. And after my middle school and my parents started to search for my high school, my mom said, "I think you have to be. Uh, you have to go to a vocational school because knowledge this day, like mathematics, science, uh, bahasa, those aren't used in university." My mom then asked me, "What things that you felt interested in?" Then I said, "Maybe IT, mom." And after that, my parents started to search for a vocational school that is based on IT and has good quality. Uh, after a long search, my parents uh, got an info. I got an information from my seniors' parents in my middle schools. So um, maybe I'm like eleven grade, and eh, no, I'm like eight grade. Then my seniors is like nine grade, and they said that Eden is a good vocational school for IT, and many of my seniors, uh, senior, go there, and right now they're uh, twelve. Uh, they are a 12th grade so one years above me so after that my parents and i decided to visit eden boarding school and uh, it's located in bogor in jungle jungle district and when we arrived there my first impression was that the school it's kind of unique uh, the asrama or the place for your home is made out of bamboo and the ceiling uh, the roof is covered by wet or something I don't really know so there were two buildings uh, one is for learning in the learning building there were AC air conditioner around the places and the second is the asrama uh just what I, just what i said before but in asrama there is no ac there's no air conditioner i don't know why but uh maybe because the school is located in high ground area in the mountain area like in uh, and when it's night time the temperature is very cold but also when it's evening and evening it gets very very hot in there so kind of balance the temperature and maybe that's the reason why the uh, he, why why they didn't use ac because if they because uh oh uh, yeah uh why also they use ac in the learning uh, building maybe my thought is to be more focused to be more uh to be more uh, effective in learning so yeah maybe that's the reason but there's one problem oh yeah uh, sorry so there's was also uh, one place that I forgot about it which is a mosque it's for prey and the mosque is also made from bamboo and the roof is made from wet just like the asrama but there's one problem about the place or school is that there's not a lot of water in there because the area below the school 
uh, are a bunch of big rocks. After I got, uh, after I heard about, I uh, heard from the people there, or the teacher in the school. So there is not a lot of water coming out of it. So yeah, moving back to the story. Uh, after we visited Eden, my parent asked me, "Do you want to be here?" I said, "Inshallah." But the problem is that me and my parents are ki- are kinda worried about the water problem. I'm afraid I cannot take a shower or maybe go to the bathroom or maybe drink. But my parents and I agreed uh, are good. My parents and I agreed uh, to apply to the school and Alhamdulillah I passed the test and at that time until now the pandemic was still going and because of that it then went online learning but right now some of my friends are offline but uh, I'm still online learning now so yeah. In Eden, I also studied many things uh, after it, uh, like one one years. I know I'm eleven, so uh, I I go to Eden at at ten grades. So yeah, uh, I will show you what they teach, what they what's the lesson, what is the lesson. <clears throat> so yeah, uh, there's three different lesson. One is dinia, uh, such as like fiki, tauhid, Arabic, adab, and sirah. And secondly, uh, the second lesson is English. I learned many new vocabulary, knowing knowing about grammar and many things. And the last the last uh, lesson is IT. There are two major that you can pick. It is between TKJ, TKJ or RPL. TK, uh, TKJ it stands for. Uh, I don't know. I forgot about it. But RPL it stand it stands for uh, rekayasa perangkat lunak. That's the Indonesian meaning. I forgot the English meaning about it. And I pick RPL. Why? Because RPL is likely more into uh, computers. So in I also love to stand in front of computers. So yeah, that's why. So in RPL, uh, I studied four lesson. One is CT computational thinking. It's about how we think with the way of computer and the to, uh, the second lesson is Android. In Android, I studied about programming language called Kotlin. Uh, like basic Kotlin, uh, uh, OOP, object-oriented programming, and generic. Even though I still not quite understand some of uh, some about op, uh, OOP and generic, but inshallah along the way later I will know about it inshallah. And I also make a project with my teacher in Android Studio. The third lesson is website. So website for me it's quite fun to learn because. I learned how to design and create a website from it. Uh, I study uh, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, React, and Laravel. Uh, probably there's also a Swift language, but right now I'm still uh, I uh, I not uh, I'm still didn't uh, know. I mean I haven't learn learn it again since one since in 10th grade so yeah and recently uh, I learned about react and sometimes uh, I make my own website in my spare time depending on my mood 
but uh, one thing that I know is that if you learn something new and you forgot to study about it after you will lose the knowledge and maybe start again from the zero so it's important to sometimes learn about what you had to study before uh, what you had studied before and you will be no longer forgot about it and yeah moving back to the main topic which is my goal so my fourth goal is to oh yeah forgot i forgot about one lesson that i uh, that i forgot to say the so there's force for lesson in eden about in in it so the last is ue ux design so it's pretty much about design so yeah so you make an application but with not uh, but with no uh, programming language just you design like make a poster like a make a, a design yeah a website design but with no language no programming language so yeah i also uh, have a lot of fun with uux so yeah that is the last lesson in IT so yeah moving back to the main topic uh, my fourth goal is to work in a good or famous places such as like Gojek Tokopedia Google Apple uh, and other good places being able to work in a good place is not that easy it needs hard work spirit and also pray when you're already involved there you're no longer worried about your life your save your uh, your yeah your life you can also meet many high quality people because a good workplace probably needs a good people to make the environment successful so yeah i think wait let me see how long it's been 27 okay very good okay so uh, that's all about my goals and after this uh, oh yeah so uh, I think we already in the first section uh, I, I, so there's two sec section which is about my goals and then after this I want to share you guys about my English project video in this 11th grade there will be three video the first topic about internship the second about business in digital era and then the last we uh, it's about uh culture so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed so here is my set oh no okay okay Okay. Okay, let's uh Okay, so this is uh are you afraid it's going to be stopped so no so my yeah, so this is the first video it's about internship let me okay I hope you enjoyed uh, first of all, uh, a very big thank you to our Almighty God, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, that had given me this uh, change, this opportunity to meet again in uh, in another video. 
and secondly salawat and salam given to our prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is believed on him and then to his family to his friends to his uh, people and others all right hello guys hello my my fellows hello everybody welcome back to another video and in this video i will be talking about internship but before we get to there i want to ask to you all how are you guys doing today i hope you all have a nice day i hope you all have uh, an, an, an amazing day and inshallah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always guide us from the bad things i mean so we move we move on to the main topic so yeah I w in this video i will be talking about what is internship you might uh you might know this or you might heard about internship but you don't know what's the meaning of it so yeah let's just move to the next slide what is internship internship uh, according to the Google, Google Translate is the position of a student or trainer who works in an organization, sometimes without pay, in order to gain work experience or satisfy requirements for a qualification. So basically, internship is like you work in the company, and then you didn't got, uh, you didn't have the you didn't got the real money or salary but you just gain a work experience you might ask is work experience important for for uh, ourselves well it's quite important in terms of finding jobs because uh, if example if you have like uh, uh, let's say five years work experience or maybe 10 years you might have a change to work in a good place a good company so it, it's very effective in terms of finding jobs yeah so uh, internship and a real job it's it's different the different is uh, in real jobs you have the salary you got the real money but in internship, you just you didn't have the you didn't got the money you didn't got the salary just you just gain a work experience. So yeah, that is the difference about internship and real job. Uh, you might uh, wonder how to get an uh, internship or uh, a real job. Well, that's a good question because this next slide will answer the question. So, how to get an internship or a real job? Well, there is so much website or application that show us about jobs or internship. But for now, I only know about two websites. The first website is jobsreach.co.id so it's this this website is quite popular and you 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 might try it because uh, it's uh, it's really easy to find a job in this website and also in this website it's called Lincoln Dean. it's also very uh, easy to find a internship or a job and yeah uh, actually there's uh, so much website not just two of these but uh, but I only ha I know have uh, I only know uh, two of this website for now so maybe I will find uh, others website and yeah so after you uh, so before you I mean uh, apply or register to a company or, or yeah to a company you must read the information or the requirement so if you want to the to go to the company uh, let's say it's a uh, Apple company you uh, the, requ the requirement probably uh, tells like you need to be pro at programming you need to know this language this programming language and and others so the first thing you might 
want to know is the requirement of the company so if you just randomly go to a uh, register a company and then you don't know the requirement then I don't know what will you go uh, what, what will you work in their company you probably just have a, you probably just uh, work as a, a OB, OB I mean uh, I mean like uh, a cleaning service or something like that so you you might have you might uh, you might uh, know about the requirement of the of each company so that is uh, important too be, before you want to register or apply to an in, uh, to a company so yeah uh, let's move on to the next slide so after you uh, register and then uh, if the if you if the, if the company does that, uh, if the company choose uh, just you, that means that you uh, you have to be ready to the to get an interview question because uh, because interview question is very important for uh, for every company because. Uh, Every company probably wants to have a good person, a good uh, a good quality person, like example, a uh, smart, uh, good attitude, uh, friendly, and other stuff. So that is the reason why do why uh, every company have an interview question because they want to know deep about yourself so yeah uh, interview question so there is so much uh, question uh, you might get uh, you might get but I have this five example of interview question that probably a common question so the first is tell us about a, a bit about yourself and then why do you want to work at our industry what are your weakness what are your skills or strange strange and how do you manage your works this is the example of the common I, I, I believe this is a common interview question so you might have to know all of this uh, you might have to uh, answer answer it right because if you turns out you answer it uh, you uh, I mean you you cannot answer off all of this question you probably uh, cannot uh, work in the yeah the company probably don't want you you will automatically uh, uh, get uh, get kicked from the company so uh you have to be prepared about inter uh, about in uh, this question this exa uh, five example question so yeah after you manage to answer all of this all of this question with good a good let's say you answer off all of this with a good uh, with good answer and then uh, you probably have a chance to uh, work in the company or get uh, or, or internship in the company so yeah so yeah okay after you get uh, you pass the interview question congratulations you have managed to internship or maybe work in the company so there is three steps in the interview question the first is register I mean uh, uh, yeah the first is register stage and then the second is interview and then the third is is a uh, happy I mean uh, the third stage is uh, is that you work in the company so yeah I think uh, that's all I guess about inter uh, internship uh, I'm so sorry if there's any mistake words or anything that that I had got that I had got through the 
through the beginning until now from the beginning until now and I'm so sorry about that uh, yeah I think that's all about the about internship uh, see you guys in the next video and again I hope you all have an amazing day and relaxing day and yeah see you in the next video wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Okay, so that's the first video, and then we move to the next video. Uh, just be sure it's still recording, right? Still okay, okay. Good, good, good. So please be strong, Mac. I don't want to get any edit. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. Okay, first of all, I would like to thank you to our almighty God Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that had given me this opportunity to meet again and see you guys in this video and secondly salawat and salam given to our prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and to his family to his people to his uh, friends and others Okay, hello guys, hello my parents, hello my friends, hello my fellas, welcome back to another video. And how are you guys doing today? I hope you all have a nice day, a relaxing day, uh, a peaceful day, and uh, I hope that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always, uh, always uh, protect us from any bad things. Amin ya Rabbal Alamin. So, in this video, I will be talking about business in digital era. So, without further ado, let's just start. So, the first thing I would like to say that, uh, uh, what is business in digital era? You might wonder, what is it? So, I will tell you, I will explain it. Before technology evolved, business or selling things are usually applied on a street, right? Or uh, a mall and other things, etc. We all we all need to go to the shop to buy it, right? Every time, every time, if you want to buy some things, you need to go to the shop, right? And it's really tiring for most of pe of the people, but right now business uh, because the technology has evolved many business are applied by online and that is called business in digital era so in this era that we all felt right now we don't need to go to the shop we can just buy it on the online store which is called e-commerce or it says electronic commerce in Google, such as like uh, Tokopedia, Shopee, and many others. And beside that, there's also some online restaurants if you want to buy food or drinks, like example Grab, Gojek, and much more. So after you know what is the meaning of business in digital era, of uh, I will. Uh, I also will tell you about a plan, uh, a business plan that I will try to make it. So yeah, let's just move to the next uh, slide. Oh yeah, before uh, before uh, we go further, this is just still a plan. It's not uh, implemented and in real life yet. So yeah, it's uh, it's still a plan. So my my logo company my company logo will be like this and my company as our business name will be bamboo pizza and i will sell or provide a uh, pizza drinks and snacks and the selling points is uh, around 30k 30k rupiah to 40k rupiah it's cheap right and then we move to the next slice. Well, uh, why I choose that name? Well, because 
uh, I live in Bamboo Apus, if you don't know. And because of that, I colored it green, just like bamboo color. So, in this logo, uh, I, I colored the text with green, because uh, bamboo is green, right? So yeah, let me move to the next segment. Uh, I will have around three outlets or out branches and around 45 employees. Anyway, and then the last is uh, oh, there are some details. So there will be a discount every week. So stay tuned for that or just follow our Instagram at Bamboo Pizza. Okay. So after you know what is my plan about, so I will be making a pizza a bis, a pit business, a pizza business, and yeah, after this I will tell you about why I start doing. I will start uh, why I have a plan to make a pizza business. Why not other business such as like, uh, example selling things or other stuff like that why I choose pizza well this is the reason in the next slide the reason so uh, the reason is because pizza is one of my favorite food and since I really love it I also want to try to make it but at that time I was wondering oh yeah pizza needs oven to bake it right and sadly I don't have oven at that time well right now I also didn't have any oven so yeah I felt down because of that but still I tried to look at YouTube about how to make pizza with no oven and surprisingly there was a way to do it by Teflon so after I watched the video how to make pizza with Teflon with confidence I tried to make it and turns out it did well even though it's not that good as oven but I still proud of myself okay soon after I uh, I finish make make it I, I after I finish I was thinking of making this bit of it so yeah that is the story or the reason why I choose pizza rather than other businesses because I love pizza so yeah I think uh, that's all I guess about uh, this topic this is in digital era and I'm so sorry if there's any mistake words or anything uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm so sorry and then I hope you I wish you all have uh, I wish you all the best and see you guys in the next video uh, stay safe stay healthy don't forget to eat and yeah see you in the next video wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh yeah. all right this is the this is the second video so this is will be my last video and after that i will end this video this final project video so yeah oh yeah fun fact uh this video this culture video is recorded when i uh live in a uh, like a, uh, an apartment near a hospital because uh, the story is uh, at that time my grandma is like having uh, a disease having trouble with, with her body and then uh, uh, my grand grandmother then goes to the hospital the hospital that uh, that we uh, that we uh, came was the hospital named uh, Fatmawati if you know about it is one of the uh, good most one of the famous hospital in Indonesia so yeah uh, and because of that my parents or my sibling I don't know yeah well, maybe my parents 
uh, by an apartment near the hospital. So uh, whenever my grandma needs, uh, so whenever uh, any time we can visit it in there because it's uh, it's kind of uh, uh, it's kind of near the hospital and yeah. Okay, so I will play this video and ha I hope you guys enjoy it. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Oh, oh yeah, Th that is my sister, like by the way. To our all, uh, to my Almighty God, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, that have given me this opportunity to meet again in another video. How are you guys doing today? I hope you all have a nice day, a relaxing day, and inshallah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always guide us from the dark things. And yeah, let's just uh, get right on to it. So in this video, I will be talking about culture. The culture that I will be talk, uh, talking is Indonesia. So yeah, let's just go to the first slide. In the first slide, uh, let me explain what is Indonesia. Indonesia is a country that has many interesting in it. Start from the island. Indonesia has around nine, nine, nine uh, around seventeen kind, seventeen thousand kind of island, from the very left to the very right island, which is Sabang to Maroke. Beside that. There's also a lot of cultures that Indonesia have. Many kind of foods that you can try. And there's a plentiful of beautiful places in Indonesia, such as like Bali. You maybe have heard of it. It's one of the famous place for tourism in Indonesia. Okay, now you all know about Indonesia. Let's move on to the next slide so right now as so now in this uh, I will be talking about food in Indonesia so as you all heard from what I said before that Indonesia have many kind of food I have some food that I recommend to you to try it like example nasi goreng uh, rendang martabak tongseng and so on uh, I bet you will be satisfied when you try one of those food. In other, uh, in other hand, there's still lots of food that you can try, especially traditional foods. You can easily find them. If you want to find drinks, uh, I have one kind of drink that I like. That is sop bua. Uh, it's so fresh and uh, also sweet. Uh, you should also try that drink. I recommend it. Okay, to the uh, let's move to the next slide. So in this slide, I will be talking about the traditional clothing in Indonesia. Speaking of traditional clothing in Indonesia, there's a lot of traditional clothing since there's a lot of culture that Indonesia own. This traditional clothing often used for a wedding ceremony. They use the traditional clothing based on their domicile. Exa example, if your domicile is Jawa, then you, uh, you need to use the Jawa traditional clothing. So that's for the traditional clothing. We move on to the next slide. Uh, so uh, I will be talking about the traditional house uh, in Indonesia. Many kind of traditional house in Indonesia, uh, every culture, have their own style of traditional house. Example, uh, this picture. Uh, sorry, actually there's a, a picture in here, but I don't know why it disappeared. So yeah, uh, this is tra a, a traditional house named Joglo, which is come from the city of Malang. You can also find other traditional house beside this. There's still a lot of it. So yeah, that's about the traditional house. We move, uh, we move on to the next slide, which is, which is the traditional that which is which is the traditions and the or the customs. 
in Indonesia, if you want to greet to each other, we say hello. Raise your uh, right hand and start to wave your right hand to others. There's another way too to greet uh, to someone by saying salam. Assalamualaikum. Okay, that's the tradition or, uh, or the customs. And then there's uh, a ceremony. If we talk about ceremony, ceremony, there's a lot of ceremony in Indonesia. The common ceremony that you usually use is called ceremony flag or upacara bendera. It's basically a ceremony that reminds us about the Indonesia independent Independence Day that declared at uh, August 17 at the year of 1945. Besides ceremony flag, there's also ceremony that is for every kind of culture in Indonesia. They have their own ceremony. So, example, uh, if you are, uh, uh, if there is a Jawa, uh, there is a Jawa ceremony, uh, and then there is Bali ceremony, and a lot of culture based based on their culture. Okay, we move on. So, after that, I will be talking about the one of the city that it's in Indonesia. So I'll be talking about Jakarta. Jakarta is the largest and capital city of Indonesia. I love being in Jakarta. Honestly, I'm uh, from born. I was uh, born uh, in Jakarta. And there's so much thing that you can find in Jakarta, like food, places, and other things. Many fancy hotel that you can find. You must also uh, prepare that sometimes in Jakarta it's kind of hot and also rainy sometimes. So uh, also there's no winter in this uh, in Indonesia. So there there is just two season, which is rainy uh, and. Uh, hot. It's so just the two of it. So there's no winter season in here, so you must know that. Okay, maybe uh, that's uh, that's it. That's all about this video. I hope you all enjoy. Uh, sorry if there's any mistake words or pronunciation or anything. I'm sorry mm. about that. Uh, be uh, don't forget to be healthy, don't forget to be uh, spirit, and I will, see, uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, peace be upon you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alright, so <clears throat> that will be the end of the video. Also, let me move to the next slide. Oh yeah, I forgot about this slide. So yeah, that's also will be the end of my final, my last English project <coughs> in this first semester. And oh yeah, uh, and by the way, I'm so sorry uh, if there's anything uh, or any word uh, I do in this video. And also, I, I'm so sorry about my voice. My voice is now kind of... I don't know my my throat. It's kind of sick at uh, at the time uh, right now. So uh, I hope it will be uh, it will uh, I will get better. Like uh, inshallah. Sure. Uh, shortly. I mean. So yeah. Uh. Uh. Okay. Uh, thank you all that had watching this video from the beginning and to from the beginning until now until the end and i hope you guys have an amazing day have an amazing life and uh, inshallah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always guide us from the bad thing from the uh, from the useless things and other bad things 
Amir Albal Alamin and I see you guys I will see you guys in the next video so yeah uh, wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh okay